Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I'm sorry I didn't post on Tuesday. I just needed to take a little break, but we're getting back up to speed and everything is good now. So, we are going back to the infamous serial killers from each state. And we are working on Arizona with Mark Goudeau, who's also known as the Baseline Killer or the Baseline Rapist. So Mark was one of two serial killers that was terrorizing the Phoenix, Arizona area between August 2005 and June of 2006. So he's known as the Baseline Killer because he first began his crimes on Baseline Road in Phoenix, Arizona. And from there, he went north to North Phoenix and continued to commit crimes there. On the evening of August 6, 2005, Mark was armed with a handgun when he walked up to three miners and told them that he had just robbed a bank and he needed to find an area for his buddy to pick him up. He held them at gunpoint and led them down a dark secluded area behind a church where he sexually assaulted the two young girls and he made them clean up and he took off. A little over a month later on September 8th of 2005 at around 1 a.m., Mark walked up to a woman named Georgia Thompson, who was at her car in her apartment complex parking lot. She was cleaning her car out when he began attacking her and sexually assaulting her in her own car. She began screaming to leave her alone, and from there, Mark ended up shooting her. There was two witnesses who heard this go on, but they didn't see Mark. On September 20th, 2005, at around 10.30 at night, there was two women walking home from a park. They were sisters and one of them was pregnant. They were approached by Mark, who had a gun, and he sexually assaulted one sister while the pregnant sister had the gun on her belly. Mark ended up letting them go, and this would eventually get him caught. On September 28, 2005, he went on to rob a fast food restaurant, and luckily nobody was harmed. Shortly after this incident at the fast food restaurant, he found a car parked right outside with a woman and her 12-year-old daughter. He pointed the gun at this woman and demanded that she drive and do not look at him. He got in the passenger seat while her daughter was in the back seat and they began driving. He ordered her to park behind a secluded store and that is when he began sexually assaulting both of them. He then ordered her to drive back to where he got in the car at the fast food restaurant and he took off. He ended up leaving behind a coin purse that he had just robbed from the fast food restaurant and before he even left he used the women's clothes to clean up the car in areas that he touched. Mark would go on robbing, sexually assaulting, and even murdering multiple people. In total he killed nine people and sexually assaulted ten and had multiple robberies. He was finally arrested on September 4, 2006, in connection to the sexual assault of the two women walking home from the park. At the time, Mark was 42 years old, and they collected DNA evidence from him, and it connected him to this attacking of the two women. After they collected this DNA, it led to him being connected to all other crimes he committed. So he was officially connected to 19 assaults, and was sentenced to 438 years in prison. However, he's still awaiting trial for about 73 other criminal charges against him. Mark Bordeaux's wife, whose name is Wendy Carr, actually denies everything. She doesn't believe her husband did any of this, and she even went out and said that her husband is completely innocent, and he's a very kind and loving man, and everybody that knows him agrees. And it turns out most of his family agree with her, like nobody believes that he did it, even though DNA evidence came back saying it was him. Gordo's family even reached out and said that the Phoenix Police Department put an innocent man in jail and they're framing him. Apparently, Mark is an ex-convict who actually served 13 of a 21-year sentence for aggravated assault, robbery, and kidnapping. As of 2011, Mark was sentenced to death, and he is currently being held on death row. He is 54 years old. 
And that is the story of Mark Bordeaux of Arizona. Stay tuned for next week's video. But until then, if you guys enjoy this series or enjoy my content, I would really appreciate it if you press that subscribe button and turn on the bell. That way you get notified when I post my new video. But until the next video, bye guys.